Hi and welcome to this YouTube channel. My name is Zangi Moemi from quantbuild.co.ke. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to take measurements from PDF plans using Bluebeam Review. So if you're ready, let's get started. So as you can see on my screen, I have Review open and this is a whole blank screen which is gray in color and this screen is going to be populated when we start performing uh, the whole process so the first thing that i want us to do before we get to work on anything is to be able to choose a profile that fits the functions that we want to use review for so in this case what we want to do is we want to take off quantities from a pdf plan so the right profile that we should use is the quantity takeoff profile because as Bluebeam themselves say this profile is designed for estimators and specifiers who want to view plan specs conduct quantity takeoffs and add markups and measurement to their PDF files so what I will do is I'll use this top uh, bar up here we are a view i'll click on view and then i'll be able to activate or rather to access all these tools that are here i have options for a new file uh, opening a, a file from um, my storage space i can be able to access the bluebeam studio and in this case the bluebeam studio serves as a document management system and this is uh, available online it allows you to be able to collaborate with other users that you are working with in a, on a construction project or rather maybe a civil engineering project or any other project that you are working on and collaborating using review and so what is of interest here to us as at now is this part so you can see this icon down here written profile this is what we are interested in and I want to click on this drop down arrow and I'll be able to have all this advanced construction design review office oil and gas punch simple template takeoff all these are user profiles that are available for us, because we want to perform quantity takeoffs, we will uh, click on takeoff and quantity takeoff profile will be applied. As you can see, there is a whole bunch of tools which are represented by these icons that have been added at this point and to the right side of the screen. So, now uh we go on to the next step and the next step now is for us to open uh, a pdf plan and i'll go to file then click on open and this is going is going to take me to my computer where i have a, a pdf one of those uh, drawings that i've been working on i can be able to choose this for example and click here open and you will see the pdf getting opened i can zoom by scrolling on my on scrolling using the the the, 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 the scroll wheel on my mouse and this is the pdf for us guys as you can see it's a simple uh, four bedroom bungalow for an extended family or whatever use that you want to put it but our interest here is to show you how to perform or rather how to take measurements from this pdf plan using Lubim review so when this uh, plan is already here uh, the first thing that you are supposed to ensure is accurate is the scale so how don't you put in the scale you can be able to 
look around and see whether your drawing is saved using any scale but if we look at this one you see for the scale it's written nts which means not to not to scale so what are we going to do now that uh, our plan is not to scale so at the right side here you can be able to click on this blue icon here and you'll be able to see the scale options that are available so let's say you you know the scale you'll be able to say this number of inches represents this number of millimeters this is the number of inches on this paper and represents this number of millimeters on the ground or oh, as, as you can see the equal sign that is what it, it indicates i hope i'm right <laughs> um, now that we do not have a scale in place we can uh, go ahead and use this tool which is written calibrate to be able to calibrate our plan and we do that by identifying a dimension between two points then when we click on calibrate we see this pop-up that says select two points to calibrate measuring tool so i'll click on okay and then i'll be able to now click on this point then click on this other point and we that's a non measurement because as 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 at as according to this dimension we know it's 3850 millimeters so i'll type in that 850 and make sure this is millimeters and click ok now for us to confirm whether that is uh, ok what we'll do is we will uh, take some measurements and i want to use this uh, length measurements click on this point drag your mouse to this other point click then the measurement is in place so as yes, you can see we have done the right calibration for our plan congratulations for that step um here we also have settings for the precision that we want to use for our measurements it's, it depends on the number of uh, decimal units that you want to use for me i am okay with zero decimal places but i want to do something i want to set some independent units for my project so i'll click on this independent units and then you see for the area i want my area to be displayed in square meters so i'll click on S, uh, sqm and the volume i want cubic meters c u m so that's it that's uh, done that's okay uh, after you've done that you can choose to store the scale in page so that the next time you are sharing the plan when someone open opens it in bluebeam it will already be having this scale and there will be no need for recalibrating the plan to establish a non scale so when that is done i want to show you something if you click on this other blue button to at the center of a, the left side of the screen what you will see is here a list of the recent projects that rather the recent files that you had opened using bluebeam you will always be seeing a list populating itself here whenever you continue opening pdf files using review so you can choose whether you want to view that in terms of a list or bookmarks or thumbnails or, or all those stuff so that's not 
the interest for this video so we close that and we also close this for the flags uh, down here at the bottom click on this blue one you can be able to see a summary a summary of the measurements that we have been working on and so the first one is a flag and the, rest, the next one is a length measurement that we have taken and so this summary is important because we can also be able to export this to an uh, XML summary or a CSV summary which is uh, readable using Microsoft Excel then we can also be able to do more manipulations of that data in Microsoft Excel so as at now everything is set in place and I want to show you how to how to measure now how to take how to measure length how to measure perimeter and how to measure areas so let's go we go up here uh, to measure we have the measuring tool we have the calibrate tool we have linear area volume cutout count and geometric measurement tools so for us we will start with the linear measurement tools now click on this drop drop down arrow i'll be able to see that i am able to measure length and perimeter so click on the first one which is length let's say i wanted to measure the length between this point so i'll click on the starting point then move my cursor to the ending point click on that then i will have my length measurement in place so as you can see it's a very simple process you can be able to do a lot of customizations to achieve what you want so that is how to measure length using bluebeam now if you have a lot of lengths that you are measuring you will keep on repeating the same process then down here you will see all your length measurements populating here they will have a um, show they'll be showing you who has taken the measurement what color they are in the comments the length area all this stuff as you can see down there so the next measurement we want to take is a, a perimeter now perimeter let's say you wanted to measure the perimeter of this uh, dining room so starting from this point click on that corner click on this corner click on that other one then move your mouse click on this and then now we have to click on where we had started to complete the loop and at the end of it all we have our perimeter in place let's say we want to measure perimeter the external perimeter for these two bedrooms now i'm starting from here click on the starting point click on this corner go to the other corner click on that other corner and then, and then for the perimeter we have to always complete the loop click on where we had started so that gives us the perimeter of that uh, of those two areas so let's say i wanted to take measurements from here to here that is not in a straight line i can also be able to use the perimeter measurement tool so it's not a mask that it's a closed loop but you can also be able to measure the length of tool of a line that is not uh, straight using the perimeter measurement tool so let's go to the last one which is area measurement and i want you to be looking at this point at, at, at the summary down here because whenever we take any measurement 
all these measurements are populating themselves down here and there's a reason because we will be able to now come down here and reference these are the perimeters that we measure this is the length and all that other measurements that we are going to take so the last one as i have said is and that is for this video is to show you how to measure areas so we'll make sure you have the measurement tools in, uh, activated and then you choose area so when area is activated we will come inside uh, let's say which room before that i'll escape on my keyboard select this measurement and delete it that is for us to have some space working space so i have my area measurement tool selected i want to measure the area where i'll put my tiles for this bedroom one so i'll start from this point to that say it's going to reach there love it all those points and that and that so at the end of it you see we have 12 square meters of tiling area that's the floor area excluding the area where we have the wardrobes so again another simple demonstration for let's say for the kitchen start from this point to this point to this point and then the last one and you will see 11 square meters as the area for our kitchen so that's how to take measurements using bluebeam review from pdf files and i have shown you how to measure length how to measure perimeter how to measure the length of our a line or rather wall that is not straight and how to measure areas i hope this video has been helpful please give it a thumbs up if you are interested in more videos subscribe to this youtube channel and thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video cheers